Hello, here we are for the Tech Hub tutorials and with this video we will start the 3D printing or additive manufacturing videos. So in previous videos we, we just uh, discussed about uh, 3D modeling and how we obtain a virtual models. But starting with this video we will start to create the files for additive manufacturing. So let's start and discuss about what software we will use and how we manage the files that we need. The STL files, the PDF guides and so on. So in these um, videos that uh, we will show you how to prepare the file for the 3D printing, we will use two softwares. So I will highlight them or I will drag them from my um, desktop. This will be the Z Suite software and the Ultimaker Cura software. So these two software will be used in our uh, videos. So I will use both of them in each video. So there will be two demonstration of uh, these uh, tools. So I will put them back in the places. Okay. From where we will take files? So we have them modeled uh, from previous videos, but also we can take them from Smart Tech Hub website and I prefer to take the files from there. So I will go to event uh, menu and take learning activities. From here, I will go to summer school, read more option. And from here, we will find all the files. So you remember, we opened from here the guides in PDF, but I also duplicate this window in order to take the STL files. So here you see CAD, STL, and G codes. So we will take just STL from here. So let's open software and you see the file for first run. So this is the solid part. Yes, this is the native file. This is the STL file for first video, for creative photo frame, if you remember from first video. If not, it's not a problem because you have the file here and you can open and see it in SOLIDWORKS and also see it in... Um... So I download it. Okay. I will open this and we will see how the file looks like. And this is our product that we will prepare for printing. It's a very, very simple part and we will make setting for it in both of software. Of course, I will open the PDF guide and you will see the link for both software that you can download on your own computer. Let me go to the 3D printing part that started here. So here we starting with uh, this first part and it's uh, okay that uh, this software is presented first. So the BCN 3D Cura software is very, very, very similar with Ultimaker Cura because this is just um, an extension. It's uh, something uh, very similar with uh, Ultimaker Cura. So from this reason, I decided to uh, focus just on uh, Z Suite on Ultimaker Cura and don't uh, speak on our videos about uh, BCN 3D because they are very, very similar. Here are just few uh, differences and the differences contain in um, that the BCN 3D allow us to create the G-code file for two extruders printers like this one. But this is, for my uh, point of view, it's similar with Ultimaker Cura, so I prefer to discuss uh, more about that software. Okay, good, so I will go through this and let me find. Okay, so we found the link for software for the Zortrax and of course we will take it and from here you can download the software on your own computer and of course we have the Z Suite manual how to use it so from here you can download your manual and see how this software um, work and what you can do with it good and let's see about Ultimaker Cura what is said there 
and you can see also the link for Ultimaker Cura downloading. So from here you download it for free and install on your own computer. And this is about Ultimaker Cura software and also the manual of the software, how to use and what this um, software can do. And here it's the link for each chapter that the software can do. In my opinion, it's okay to download both of them and try to create your um, uh, code with both of them. What is the difference? The difference is that the Ultimaker Cura allow us to create the G code or the code or the file for the 3D printers. Starting from the Ultimaker 3D printers, the own uh, printers of Ultimaker and also for the custom or different uh, manufacturer of the printers. Z-Suite allow us to create uh, codes for uh, Zortrax printers, but from latest updates, uh, these softwares also allow us to create the software, the files for other printers. So for now, for this moment, when we um, register, we record this video, both software allow us to create the, uh, the files for own printers, Zort Z Suite for Zortrax and uh, URA for Ultimaker. And also both of them allow us to create the files for the custom printers or uh, for the printers of other um, manufacturer. Okay, let's start and see what we should do. So I download the file. First of all, I will open the Ultimaker Cura. So we will start with Ultimaker Cura. Double click on it. It will be download the interface and the uh, artificial uh, intelligence uh, models in order to create the file. After the software will open, we will start to discuss. So I will increase the grade of the focus on each parameters from video to video. So I don't uh, discuss uh, very uh, long about each parameter from this video. No, first video will be just about one element. The second video will be about another one and so on. So in order to understand very good uh, how to create a uh, good uh, file for 3D printers, I recommend you to uh, follow our video for all parts that we uh, use here. Okay, let's start. This is the interface of the software. Here are the menus and we will discuss about them in other video. Here is the options so we can prepare the code, we can preview what we obtain and we can monitor what happened on the uh, additive manufacturing process. Here is we add the file that we want to use. Here is the printer that we use. Here is the material that we use and here are the parameters that we use. This is the um, 3D building volume. So here is the um, printer platform. Uh, there the part will be created layer by layer. Okay, so uh, in first our uh, step, I don't discuss about parameters, I don't discuss about material, I don't discuss about printer. I just uh, show you how to import a file how to uh, orient it, how to uh, choose the position, and how to obtain the code. Okay, so from here, click on it, go to download because there are my um, file, it's downloaded. This is the file. I upload the file so you can see it on the uh, building platform. Yes. Okay, after we import the file on the building platform, on the printer platform, first thing that we do is to orient the part. We should decide if this is the best position of my part. And in this case, yes, it's the best one. So I don't rotate it right now. So I will show you this in the next video. And the position, if it's necessary to move it, and also it's in the center position, so I don't move it. And we don't discuss about this part right now. It's just important how to upload the file, the necessary file, so from here. After we import and we agree with all setting from here, and I said 
Right now we don't uh, change, we don't uh, set up any parameters from here. So let's say by default that all parameters are very, very good. Okay, after we import the part, we just go to slice. We slicing the file and we have the option of preview and we can preview what, how our part will look like. So this is our sliced part and we can go through slices and see how our part looks inside. And this is how our parts look inside. And of course, we can simulate the printing process. And from here, I play the last layer. And here is the nozzle, is the extruder. And we can see how the last layer will be created. And we can do this simulating process for each layer from the part. So this movie can take, <laughs> I think, one and 36 minutes to see how the part will be constructed because this is the real time, uh, sorry, the real speed. This is one to one speed of 3D printing. OK, after we uh, see the process, we just take save to file, choose the desktop and say creative photo frame. And you can see dot G code. So for Ultimaker Cura software, we obtain the G code, save it. It was saved and if we go to desktop, we can see the creative photo frame G code. This file will be co uh, copy on the flop disk of the 3D printer and we will obtain this part. OK, let's take a brief look and overview on Z suite. So I will open also the Z suite and we will perform same steps but in different software. And how I say it, the Z suite work with um, Zortrax printers. And here are the printers. And first of all, you choose the printer that you want to use in your project. And how I say it, from uh, latest updates, I can use not just Zortrax printers, it can be also external printers. And I can add the printer and work with uh, this printer. But we will work on Zortrax 3D printers. And OK, let's choose an Zortrax M300 Plus. This will be the printer that we will use in all our works. OK, so we will use always Zortrax M300 Plus. So let's start a new project. OK, here it's add file or just drag and drop the file. This is also the first step that you should perform in ZSuite software. So just click on add file and also go in download and just select the file. And it uh, comes in the same position on the center of the platform. And in this case, it's also first what we will do after we import the part we should orient this part. In this uh, situation, the part is in the best position and the, we don't need to rotate it and to move it. So I will show this in next uh, video. So now we just uh, go and say print settings. I will don't change any settings right now. So we'll just go to preview, okay? So I just show you the steps of creating the file for 3D printing. And here is also a simulation like in Ultimaker Cura. Yes, so we obtain the part and you can see here the support material. I can uh, take it off. Yes, you see, so it appears and disappears if I take off it. And also can go through layers and see what we obtain and how the part is look like. Yes, and we can go through all these parameters. After we are agree with parameters and the quality and the rest of parameters that we obtain, we just say export file and click again export file and we have same creative photo frame and you can see the .z codex too. So this is the second generation of Z codex and this is not G code, this is Z from Zortrax. Yes, so Z from Zortrax, like V from, from other uh, thing. Okay, so here the formats are different and I save this. So now my file is ready to be uh, printed. 
Sorry, it's not ready. And uh, exported. Where it was exported? Sorry, on downloads. No, I want on desktop. Please, create it on desktop, yes? So just create it on desktop. And here is my file, yes? So I have the same file prepared for two different uh, equipment. This is for um, uh, with software Ultimaker Cura for creator, 3D creator that we had in laboratory. And this was created with ZSuite software for Zortrax M300 plus printer. That are the main steps in both software to create the file for 3D printing. And starting with the next video, with the next product, we will start to discuss how we set up the printer and how we set up the material and how we can create a custom printer in software and a custom material. This will be the second one. And the third one we will go forward with other notions. I hope you enjoy the first steps in the 3D printers and how we import the file in order to create a code for printing that file. Thank you for watching and wait for you on next one. See you soon. Bye.